out this Monday morning, the first thing you'll feel is that humidity in the air. It is very muggy and it's only going to get worse. We're actually seeing that humidity level getting to the oppressive level by late this afternoon and evening. And it's when we reach those levels that we will see the slightest chance of a few pop up showers. Heading out this morning, another thing you'll notice is that there's some patchy fog out there. Improvements already for the city of Boston, though. We're seeing that visibility starting to rise. Temperature right now, it's 70 degrees. That's also on the rise. We'll be making a run into the 80s by this afternoon. So there's that pop up shower chance I was referencing and you can see it's starting to develop as we move into the mid to late afternoon. So pretty much anytime after two, we will see that chance developing and pushing through the area. But you can see that that chance is great as you move west of 128. But even in those sections, that it's a hit or miss outlook as we move through the evening. Kind of a similar pattern to what we saw with the Sunday storm outlook. Many of us did not get hit and now be the case for the today. Highs for the coastline today in the mid 80s as we do see a weak sea breeze kicking in. So just about an 86 degree high for Boston. But inland, that's where you run toward the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Norwood at 91 degree high. And that will lead us into a warm evening ahead as well. Temperatures holding on to the 70s for much of the area. Another hot one for your Tuesday. The heat and humidity build as we see a strong front pushing into the area. This is one that's going to be moving in from the Great Lakes and bringing stormy and wet conditions for much of the eastern half of the country, stretching right from our area all the way down into the mid Atlantic. We are going to see the likelihood of downpours here locally and strong wind. That risk is strongest moving along 495 and westward. As you can see here, the Storm Prediction Center has that area highlighted. We're watching the concern for heavy rain. That is going to be the main impact with the storms that develop for your Tuesday afternoon and evening. But gusty wind is also something to watch for along with the threat of lightning tornado is not as much of a possibility with the pattern that we're watching. Tuesday is an impact weather day with this storm potential. Let's break down the timing of that because it looks like the first half of your day will be OK. We're going to hold off dry. The storm threat develops as we head into the afternoon. This is one o'clock tomorrow afternoon and that storm threat just moving into Western Mass, making its way eastward into Boston as we approach the evening commute. This is going to bring some heavy soakers and low visibility for the area where you travel. So definitely a rough ride home for tomorrow evening, but that does dry out as we head into late tomorrow night. Looks like we could see a few showers for Wednesday morning. Try to develop, especially moving down toward the Cape and Islands. However, the trend is for us to dry out on Wednesday after seeing nearly an inch of rainfall possible for areas of our region. Where this inch sets up is going to be something we'll have to pinpoint heading into the Tuesday forecast, but the possibility is there. Meanwhile, other areas will likely see closer to half an inch. Lower humidity heading into Thursday and Friday. Storm chances redevelop heading into the weekend.